Disclaimer! This game contains dark and adult themes unsuitable for individuals under the age of 18. Developers, please stop making your warning screens three seconds long. Please put it after the start button, and please make it that you have to click to pass. Otherwise, it's not a real warning. Alright. <laughs> I don't mean to judge, but that's... It's not a real warning. I don't care what you say. I could, I could literally be looking at my other monitor and not notice that at all. <laughs> Anyways, that's my one quit criticism, okay? Let's get right into it. This is not a love story. The game. Okay, chat? Day one. It's a demo. Visual novel. Might be a little spicy, considering what we just saw. Hi, YouTube, by the way. Hello, everybody on YouTube. Sorry for not doing my classic intro right away. What's a clock video without it? This one, I guess. <laughs> I can hardly see straight. So, my name is Chat. I already know it's not gonna be me. <laughs> subscribe. Clock and subscribe that button! <laughs> I just read some of chat. <laughs> I'm an unpaid intern for Core Corp. It's a company that develops AI software. Better that I didn't use my name. Fuck AI. Right now I'm sitting at my desk trying to debug this project that my supervisor gave me. Do you, I know what I'm doing? Eh, kinda. Do I know what it's for? No. But, but, working year at Core Corp is going to look so damn good on my resume. Plus, if I do end up doing well enough, I may start getting paid. Haha, <laughs> maybe a girl can dream. Chad? Chad, you're you're not even getting paid to make AI, Chad? That's messed up. Is this the long tongue boss game? Yes, yes it is. It's almost 5.30 p.m. I'm basically waiting out the clock at this point. Clock reference! Uh, though I'm not quite done with the debugging, but I could make it to tomorrow's problem and finish it by then. I'm an unpaid intern. The company gets what they paid for. Since the workday is almost over, how would I want to spend my nights? Oh, okay. Uh, work overtime, have a gym session, go on a city stroll, eat at a restaurant, visit the haunted well, go out to a bar, and just go home. Well, I already know one of these. I mean, I know there's two characters you can date right now, and one of them's your boss. So I have a feeling there's one way to meet the boss, and I'm just going to get right into it, chat. Based on reception, I will come back and do more. But for now, we're going to go straight for the boss. We're going to go see what that tongue do. You know, I really want to work here at this company and get paid. It's so chill at this company. My drinks are free. My meals are subsidized. It's really close to my apartment. Sure, it's unpaid. But I think I can convince, I can convince them to hire me. You know what? Actually, all of that... Wait, you're working for free, but you're getting free drinks and meals while working for free? Eh, that's pretty good, honestly. That's... I mean, that's pretty good. If I can just impress the director... If you're gonna get an unpaid internship, this is the best you can get. Close to your house, plus free meals, plus free drinks. That's pretty good. Don't care, I quit. Okay, well... Well, shit. With the sexual harass... Well, let's see how bad the sexual harassment is. Yeah, true. I'm hard at work. Scanning, testing, rescanning. My fingers are working all on their own. A few hours past the end of my shift, and I finish the project and upload it to the shared drive of the company. Just as I'm about to get up, blip, I get a direct message from the director? About time. Get over here to my office right now. Oh, okay. Okay, balls. I've submitted plenty of projects, and this is the first time director Lipman actually messages. His name's Lipman? I'm terrified. I look at the clock on my desktop. It's almost 9 p.m. <gasps> clock reference! Uh, do I go? Chat? Chat, you're gonna go. I'm gonna make you go. See, see, I may have named the MC chat. I'm forcing you, chat. Today, I make your decisions for you. And you're gonna go see the director. And you're gonna get diddled. Okay? It's not up to you today. <laughs> I'm kind of torturing chat. <laughs> I take the elevator a few floors above me. Oh, it's happening, Chad. Oh, you're running towards the problem. As the elevator door opens, my eyes aren't assaulted by the sight of dull, cubi dull cubicles. Instead, it's a corridor lined with fancy wooden doors to large offices for some of the figureheads of Core Corp. I pass by the offices of the HR director and safety officer and find myself in front of the door that reads, Director of Development, Blue Lipman. 
Yo. Yo, gifted subs? Thank you so much, anonymous gifter. Dude, one, two, three, four, five. Five gifted subs? That's a lot of... Yo, that's a lot of subs. Thank you so much, bro. Wow, what a homie. Oh, wow, I hope I gave them one laugh. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you. I see, though, however, one of the names that got a gifted sub is Clock's Biggest Pookie. I don't know who that is. That's kind of concerning. Who is that? Show yourself. And do a stretch for me, because we got a stretch check. It's always important to stay healthy, folks. Get a stretch in. It's not good to sit for so long. You know, shake it out. Whip that dick out. The audience might not have been here for 20 minutes. They could have been, you know, shrimping and shit. What if they're already walking around like a productive member of society? Then they wouldn't be watching me. What if they're at a standing desk? Okay? I don't care how you stretch it. Take it out of your pants. Whip it out. Let it breathe, okay? Oof. Yeah, oof. Hesitantly, I knock on the door. Come in. I slowly enter the office, peeking my head inside first before letting the rest of myself enter. The director was staring mostly at his laptop until I fully came in. He glances up and he cocks his eyebrows. Ugh. Okay, that was a redeemed wow. moment. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's the worst line I think I could possibly think of him saying the first thing he sees me. <laughs> hey, I don't bite. Unless you're into that. The sexual harassment starts. Yeah, that huh? Speed run. That was, this is a speed run to sexual harassment, chat. Ugh. Before I can even process what he just said to me. He gets up from his desk and walks towards me with his hand extended outwards to shake with mine. I don't think he wants to shake your hand. I think he wants to shake your at uh, Blue Lipman. I've decided to just go along with whatever. This is my one chance to impress the director. Yeah, we met during the job fair. I'm chat. You do not trust this man? Too bad, I'm making you trust him today. Gives me a bored look. I feel stupid for bringing it up. I'm glad I quit, and I'm not here for this. Oh, you're here. You're forced into this. Oh, is that so? Chuckles to himself a bit. <laughs> Guess he didn't stand out. Yeah, I probably deserve that. Still, what a dick. Anyways, introductions aside, we're going to test out the fruits of your labor. W what Right now? Yeah, that's the fun of being in corporate. Let's put your career on the line, intern. Gulp. He turns his laptop towards us. Oh, panic farts, chat. Really? You're panic farting in front of your boss? You're disgusting. Turns his laptop towards us, and I see the Eve avatar come to life once he ran the program. Eve. <laughs> no, no! Don't make me say this! No! Don't make me say that! I don't want to say this! There's lines, chat. There's so many lines I could cross. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> I have to give it a girl's voice, don't I? Daddy? Not in front of the intern, Eve. <laughs> His face! <laughs> He's like... <laughs> My bad. That's alright, sweetheart. Daddy's still proud of his baby girl. Excuse me? Excuse me? Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, oh, no! I'm... Chat, I'm so sorry to put you in this position. I watch awkwardly as he makes baby noises to Eve. I think the director's insane. But he's my boss. I gotta do this. Ahem. <clears throat> so, Eve. Run Delta 1.08. Running. Oh, for God's sake, please work. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> Just kidding. All systems operational. <laughs> You're so cute, Eve. Yes, you are. 
<laughs> yes, you are. Wow. <laughs> the director returns his gaze at me. So far, so good, intern. Ew. Eve, this intern is putting me in a shitty mood. Do something to help me feel a little less shitty. The hell did I do? I've sent Jack Sterling a text. Oh shit, Eve sent a text to the company's vice president? Read me what you sent him. The director has this grin on his face similar to when the Grinch had an awful, wonderful idea. On behalf of your golden boy, feature Delta 1.08 has been revamped and working as intended. Take me out for drinks, daddy. I've been a good boy tonight. What in the HR shenanigans is this? Why did it make me say it twice? <laughs> Thank God no one who knows how to clip is here today. <sighs> the director nods, somewhat satisfied with the text. He shuts off Eve on his laptop and closes the screen. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but you tried. You're dismissed. What? Chat, why would you make me pick this? Wait a second, chat. Wait. Chat, what are you what are you doing? I just want to say thank you, sir, and leave. Chat! Chat, what are you Oh my god! You guys are disgusting. Actually. No, I said you're dismissed. But I just wanted You really think you can waltz in my office and make demands? I'm your goddamn boss, you little ingrate. The nerve of you, intern. Sir, after all you've done, uh, I pay your salary. But I'm unpay you're dismissed. Get it through your head, intern. I don't need you to waste time loitering in my office. Sterling's on my ass in the worst way possible. Your box can't stop me, chat. I'm gonna put you in the wor- I'm gonna punish you, chat. Where's that update? We need that update for the shareholders next quarter. If he's gonna try bending me over like that, then he should at least take me out for dinner and drinks. And then actually bend me over. What the? Excuse- Did I read you wrong? Excuse me? Do I get to be a top? In one of these games for once in my life? Uh... Directman- Director Littman wipes a bit of drool that slipped past his lips! Mmm. Sterling. What I wouldn't give to have that man hold me down and make a woman out of me- Excuse- What?! The director snaps from his daydream. <laughs> no, no way, he's a bot. He's a switch, right? Um. <clears throat> anyway, I need you working. And that's what I want, sir. The director looks like he's about to rip me a new one, but he stops himself. Just hear me out. The way he looks at me so condescendingly makes me want to take his laptop and smash it over his head. But I take a deep breath and make my case. I want to keep working for you and learn more about this project. I want to get better at coding. Maybe I can change the world with it. He leers at me again. I don't know if he's considering what I'm saying or if he's considering on firing me. Then suddenly he starts to laugh. You're a pathetic intern. Fine. I'll answer any pro any questions you have about the project. Really? You will? If there's anything I love more than a good lay is hearing myself talk. Jeez, Jesus Christ, chat, you really know how to pick them. Well, chat. You know, I would talk about the project. I would talk about Core Corp. Why do you want me to talk about him, chat? Oh my, you really wanted me to talk about him, chat? YouTube, I'm so sorry. They're, they're begging me. They're begging me to ask about him. The director lies and laughs in my face. I'm your boss. That's all you need to know about me. Could I ask what got you into AI development? His eyes narrow at me. I'm just really curious. He tilts his head to the side, still looking at me condescendingly. Getting the feeling that he sees through my poor attempt to schmooze him. Fine, I'll get to the point. You're kind of a dick to me, but I look up to you still. Chad, why would you admit that? Look, Eve, look like Eve said, you're the golden boy of the company, and I want to get as good as you one day. Now nah, it's funny. I'm trying to be honest with you. And what? You think this little heart-to-heart -heart is gonna make me like you? I don't care if you like me, I just... Could you mentor me, maybe? The director is busting a gut while laughing at me. He's busting a nut on you, chat, right now. Stop laughing, for Christ's sake. I'm really trying here. 
Ooh. Fuck me sideways. You should do stand-up sometimes. Dick. I'm not going to be your mentor. I pushed it. I got it. No. You listen to me. And pay attention. Because I'm only going to say this once. I know you're just bullshitting me. You don't want me to be your mentor. You chose this route because you want to date me. Wait. Is this breaking the fourth wall? What? Am I right? Or am I right? Wait, wait a second. Is he breaking the fourth wall? Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Fourth wall break? No, wait. No, no, no. I think he's actually just this. This. I think he's actually just this. Thi no, I don't think so, guys. I think he's just actually this fucking egotistical that he thinks anyone who wants to get near him wants to fuck him. Yeah, I think it's that. Um, chat also wants me to say, yeah. Good. You're being honest for once. Look, intern. I don't date. I fuck. <laughs> Chad, I'm, um, the writing is golden on this sucker. Wow. If you want to pursue this round, then that's all you're getting. Sir, I'm trying- you're not going to get to know me or go on cute little dates with me or anything of the sort. I'm not a romanceable character in this game for you, but I'm done talking. If you don't want to fuck, then get lost, intern. I really want to leave, chat. I really want to leave. Chat, why you... Guys. What the fuck? Guys, I don't want to pick this! Chat. Oh my god. All of the- all of the stay messages, all of the please clock, please daddy clock messages saying, Clock, oh my god, I want you to stay so bad! Oh my god. Stay, I guess. Yikes. You're either extremely curious or extremely desperate. Stop begging for it, chat. I'm leaning more towards the latter. Because you already knew that your choices would lead you here. You can press back or restart the game, but you're not going to. Never mind, he definitely broke the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> You really want to fuck me, don't you? You pathetic, desperate, lonely little thing, you. No, I don't, but chat does. The director takes his coat off and loosens his tie. We really speed ran this. He backs me against the wall. By the way, if this wasn't warning enough about what was about to go down, chat, it's gonna get disgusting. And definitely 18 and up. And if you're not 18 and up, leave now. Okay, I'm gonna continue. His height towers over me as he leers into my soul. Well, you came this far. I'll pity fuck you. Needed a warm up anyway for when I get bent. <laughs> ghost. <laughs> ghost! 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 <laughs> You'll do. Venom? <laughs> Excuse me? Chat, how far did that tongue go? You'll do. Whoa! Uh, Chad, I think he grabbed you. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What the fuck is happening? Chad, what's happening? Did I just watch? <clears throat> it didn't even happen to me, and I feel a little violated, honestly. Chad, I'm sorry I let that happen to you. I don't do the daddy, but I like the tongue. Sounds like you'll ha you'll happily take daddy, then. The director pulls away from me and zips himself up. Fixes his suit and ties. I'm trying to figure out what just happened. He actually just, like, grabbed your face, licked it, breathed really heavy on top of you, and then zipped up his pants because he came. <laughs> he didn't even touch you. He just touched your face. That's all. He just licked your face and came in his pants. I didn't even come in here to have sex with him. I just wanted to be hired. Can I sue? Are you for real, intern? Can I sue? You're the one who chose this route. 
You had every chance to back out of this when you could. I'm not responsible for my actions. I didn't think... You don't think, do you? Yeah, chat. Yeah, you're disgusting. Stupid fucking talentless cum-sumer. Cry me a fucking river. This is a video game. God forbid you actually act like this in real life. No wonder you're playing this game. You're probably single and can't find a good man. Excuse you? I can't find a good man, that's true. I had to settle for a goth girl. I, it's true, I didn't have to settle at all, actually. I was doing the dishes. Is And by doing the dishes, kimono means jork in their peanuts. Oh, no. But, man, chat, you guys are getting called the fuck out right now. Because you're attracted to guys like me. And you need a little video game like this to make you feel like you could be loved. Not my fault you have shit taste. Not my fault you fucked around and found out that this game isn't a fucking love story. You wanna feel loved? Go back to your virgin spoon boy. <laughs> or the 80s sprinkle clown ghost. Or the axe guy. Both of them. I... I have no idea what he's referring to in any of these, except for the axe guy. Because I do know that visual novel, who, who also has one of these heads. But I don't know the other ones. <laughs> Luckily, I don't play enough horny games to know. But chat, you do, so you probably know every single one of these, don't you, chatters? Both of them. Or those two half-furry Sonic and Knuckles looking guys. What? Or that fat kid in green with the shears. What? I don't know any of these characters. Close this fucking game. And learn to take some goddamn accountability for your choices. Didn't you read the fucking disclaimer when you booted up the game for fuck's sake? Now get the hell out of my office, you stretched out used condom. Holy fuck, chat. You got wrecked. I'm pushed out of his office and the door shuts and locks behind me. Think about my life choices for a split second before I decide that I've given myself enough of a headache. Get my car and head home to sleep away the shame. I'm back in my apartment and fall onto my bed like a... like I'm a tower of Jenga. Well, chat, are you satisfied? You... you... used condoms? You? <laughs> that took a lot out of me. Whew. Long day, eh, chat? Turn the lights off and get in bed. <laughs> no clock, why? Sorry, I mean... I mean... Chat, look me straight in the eye. Was he lying about you? What do I do about that? Um, get a new condom, I guess. Time for sleepies. <laughs> Chat, you just got, you just got essentially sexually harassed, and you went home and you just said, time for eepies. <laughs> Chat, you need a backbone. <laughs> Ugh, I want to yank my eyes out. Since the workday is almost over, how would I want to spend my night? Well, Chat... How do you want to spend your night? Man, you guys want to work overtime again? What? Chat. What is wrong with you? Why do you want to why do you want to work overtime again? What do you think will happen if you work overtime, chat? I think you know what will happen if you work overtime again. Chat, so weird that you would pick that. Yeah, that's so weird that you would pick that. What? Work. It's Dude, <laughs> clock. <laughs> I'm just giving the people what they want. <laughs> I see people typing go to work. I see it. <laughs> There's another character you can date. Here, chat. We let's go to the bar. Let's go grab a drink before we get sexually harassed. How about that? Thank you for playing the demo. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, chat. What about the haunted well? Oh, well, chat. Looks like there's no haunted well. Eat at a restaurant? Okay, wait, that actually has a line. Just go home. I'm tired. Wait, wait, what do you... Okay, chat. It looks like bar and haunted well are not there. What do you want instead? Restaurant? Work at overtime? Gym session? Or go on a city stroll? What do you want? What would you prefer, chat? 
<laughs> the illusion of truth. City stroll. Okay, I'll let chat decide on this one. Probably just walk around the city then. Don't judge me. I know it's dangerous to be a woman walking alone in the city. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because, look, I like the thrill. Chat, you're disgusting. I, I hate that. Did you really need this fantasy worm? Specifically you. You asked for this fan- you- what, you have some kind of sick fantasy you want me to do? All it's all you. Why are you making me pick these options, guys? You're crazy. Spent over eight hours every damn day during the work week in an office. I've spent- <laughs> so forgive me for wanting just a little excitement. This assignment can wait till tomorrow. I gather my stuff, shut my PC off, and head over to the parking lot. Get in my car and drive off towards downtown. <laughs> this shot, though. Once in park, I start strolling down the city streets. The streets are busy with people trying to get home from work. The city itself is still rather busy and crowded. People are just... everywhere. Like me, they're just looking for something... to do? Something interesting? Just something to help them unwind after working all these long hours. Work to live, live to work. Let it go. What? What does that even mean? Let it go. I'm going to start singing Frozen? Sure, chat. Sure. Find myself in a different part of the city. Sun is still setting and the streets are clearing up a bit. <clears throat> the sun is set and the city seems even busier than ever. The more I wander, the more, I lo the more lost I feel. Should I go home? Nah, keep walking. Seems like everyone around me has something to distract themselves. What am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing, chat? It's gotten very dark very quickly. There's barely anyone around. When I checked my phone, I realized it was already midnight. Did I wander around for that long? What a waste of time. Chat, are you stupid? Why would you pick this? What the hell is that? I see a guy that's mostly teeth come out of the alley. What? Oh crap, he's looking right at me. He's literally a ball. <laughs> Excuse me! Uh, uh, chat? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm a little concerned for you right now, chat. Uh, you wanna see, uh... You wanna see what's walking in your direction right now? It's not, it's not me. I'm over here. I'm like, walking away. I'm like, see you later, guys! Oh, wait. What's happening? Can I look and watch a little? Oh, no, bye. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's way too many coming towards me. Thoroughly spooked. I'm gonna head home before they catch up to me. Yeah, chat. Head home. Go home, you sickos. Oh, okay, great. Back in my apartment and fall into my bed like I'm a Tower of Jenga. That took a lot out of me. Again. Turn off the lights and go to bed. Time for sleepies. Oh. Unfortunately, chat, that was the end. So I guess we gotta start over, maybe? Why? <laughs> I'm kind of concerned that some of you wanted that to happen. I'm actually very concerned some of you wanted that to happen. My name is chat. Chat's kind of disgusting, aren't they? <laughs> um... Let's, let, okay, so, um, let's try a gym session this time, chat. Let's try a gym session, okay? This is, this is pretty short overall, so I guess, let's just go, let's just go to the gym, you know? This assignment can wait till tomorrow. I gather my stuff, shut my PC off, and head over to the parking lot. The monsters seem nicer than the boss. Okay, those were people, I think. <laughs> I get in my car and drive off to the gym. Also, I don't think they were as nice as the boss. The boss gave you the option to leave. I don't think those guys were going to give you the option to leave. Once I show up to the gym, I take my gym bag out of the trunk of my car and head inside. What the fuck? Who's playing basketball? Change into my workout outfit in the women's locker room and get a bit of stretching done before I get on the tre tre treadmill. Nice. Excuse me! In the corner of my eye, I see something bright and yellow taking glances at me from the weights section. Once our eyes line up, he immediately looks away and acts like nothing happened. Chat, I think, um, I think he might have a stalker, chat. What a creep. That was awkward. He's so cute. Wow. Well, I guess chat has decided. A cute character. Okay, he's so cute. Sorry. The number one horny fan said he's cute. 
I know he's a regular at this gym. I've seen him frequently. Apparently, he sees you a lot more. He's always looking my way, but he's been too shy to approach. I feel for him. I'm too shy to approach him, too. I don't think much about it because nothing really happens. Oh god, he's moving. Gasp. He's coming this way. <laughs> this human golden retriever of a man approaches me shyly. He can't keep more than a second of eye contact before looking back down at his feet. His cheeks are normally flushed, but they look more flushed than usual, than normal. Chat, what are you going to say to him? Chat, what are you going to say to this guy? He clears his throat and speaks nervously. So, uh, I've been wanting to come over and talk to you for a while now. You, uh, um, y you, um... His face is getting redder and redder the longer he stands there, unable to form a sentence. My heart is beating out of my chest. He's so cute when he's stuttering. I patiently wait for him to get his words out. He takes a deep breath and looks me in the eyes. He's determined to talk to me. Don't take this the wrong way, but... I've been watching you around the gym for a while now. I always thought you were cute, but I never quite had enough courage to come talk to you. So I figured I'd be direct and just tell you that I... Um... He thinks I'm cute? I can't handle this cuteness overload. His eyes are moving. <laughs> the moment I get on the treadmill, the guy takes the one adjacent to me. He's nervous to all hell, but he's determined. <laughs> I hate this art style. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yeah, I don't know how people, uh... I don't know how people, um, get off to this. I don't know how people are flicking the bean to this. But I guess it does it up for some chatters. Uh, I would, um... I'd like to... I'd really, really like to... It's drawn really well, though. I'm not gonna lie. I just... I just... I'm not feeling it. Personally speaking, chat. But I play this for you. Reminds me of, like, the fucking Walmart happy face. <laughs> the Walmart happy face? <laughs> He's personified Walmart mascot. Mascot. I'd like to... I'd really, really like to... Take you out to dinner tonight. If you don't have anything planned, of course. Well, I meant chat. What? Chat, did you just squeal? This grown man with muscles starts squealing like something between a piglet and a schoolgirl. Oh, no, it was him. Okay. <laughs> He's just, the kid face and the hairy, manly, muscular body. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I gave him, like, the femboy voice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Really? You really mean it? You won't believe this, but you just made my entire day. Heck, you made my week. I'm gonna marry this man. I'm Chat, by the way. Oh, I got so nervous, I didn't even introduce myself. Oopsie poopsie. I'm Perry. It's a real pleasure to finally know your name. His name is Periwinkle. What? You have a really, really pretty name, Chat. <laughs> No. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> I need some water. Okay. <laughs> chat. Oh my god. You're so cute, chat. <laughs> okay, hear me out. You have a really, really pretty name, chat. Swooned. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. We agreed to put in another half hour working out at the gym before we shower up and meet at a nearby restaurant. He stays with me at the treadmills, running alongside me as we talked. I really hope I didn't come off as a creep. I would see, see you at this gym weekly, and I wanted to talk to you so badly. I felt like you were out of my way out of my league. Me? Out of your league? No way. Look at you. Perry chuckles, and his face, flushed face gets even more flushed. You're really something, you know that. You're so sweet and compassionate. I really like that about you. He's he's love bombing. I feel my face grow warm when he says that. How he said it too. I'm just left with butterflies in my stomach. He was a nervous wreck just a moment ago. The 30 minute timer goes off on both our treadmills and we slow to a halt. As we hop off the machine, I decide to ask him a question just before we hit the showers. Um, ask about his family, ask about his hobbies, ask about how he was as a kid. Okay, all of these are extremely weird things to ask. Um, 
Ask him about his hobbies. Hopefully he has something other than going to the gym, because that's boring as fuck. What are some of your hobbies? Yeah, other than working out? Um, I also play tennis with my buddies, okay. I'm part of a book club. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I'm also writing a book too. Wow. What's it about? He blushes again as he mulls over what he wants to reveal. It's a love story. I'm a sucker for romance. And I read enough to want to write my own. It's a story about a guy who's trying to help this girl he likes. She's gone through terrible things, and he's trying to help her heal. Oh, I really would like to read a story like that. Chat. You do realize he's a smart writer. Yeah, chat. Chat. Can I give him a hug? I think you're going to do a lot more than give him a hug, Worm. I think we both know you want to do a lot more than that. Here, I can leave the corner a little bit. You're going to fuck the Walmart logo, aren't you? I hope I can finish it soon. I'm still figuring it out. I'll let you read my drafts if you really wanted to. I love that. Perry gets a big smile on his face after talking about his hobbies. Part ways to shower off the sweat and change into new clothes. I cast silence. Oh no. I meet him at the parking lot outside the gym. He's getting into his baby blue Prius. His Prius is so freaking cute. I get in my car and meet him at the restaurant we picked out. I arrive at a barbecue restaurant. I've always passed by here, but I've never actually stopped to eat here before. Korean barbecue? I'm glad I get to try it with a guy that I met at a gym. I'm new and also late. No worries, guys. You made it in time for the horny game. The horny game we play once a month. I feel like I'm walking into something dangerous. I hate this guy. <laughs> Chat, you're so funny. Man, chat's full of sundays today. Nah, he's harmless. I can't even imagine him hurting a bug. And even if he did, it'd be on accident. He'd probably take it to a vet. I see Perry's Prius pull up, and he comes out of the car to meet with me. Remember, chat, this game's name is uh, Not a Love Story. So I'm just going to add that in before we continue on with this date, and you guys keep forcing me to pick the, uh, the odd options. I hope I didn't make you wait too long. Let's head in. Perry opens the door for me, and we head inside. We're seated immediately at a booth near the restaurant's bar. We talk about what we wanted to order, and we agreed to split a huge barbecue plate so that we get to try just a bit of everything. Oh, those are the best. Okay, it's not Korean barbecue, but just actual barbecue. I'll say it again. You really made my day when you agreed to go out with me. What made you decide to even ask me out? What about me do you even like? Perry pauses for a moment as he tries to formulate his words. He likes your ass, chat. Chat, he likes your ass. He was staring at your ass. Stop fishing for compliments, chat. You know he was staring at you at the gym, okay? You know what he wants. <laughs> Pauses for a moment as he tries to formulate his words. It makes me sound like a total creep when I say this again, but it's like I said before. I've always noticed you when you came into the gym. I couldn't help but watch you every chance I could. And on days that you didn't show, well, it wasn't as bright as the days that you did. <laughs> Stop panic farting, chat. At least he took you out to dinner. True, you gotta put, you gotta pay up, chat. <laughs> you don't have to pay up with anything, chat. Don't worry. You have this vibrance to you. Hello there. I'm drawn to it. I wanted to get to know you and learn about you. I was always wondering what kind of person you were, and to be honest, I just, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Heck. Even if you didn't want to go on a date with me, I still would have wanted to at least be your friend. I don't know what to say to that. I just sit there in silence as I try to process what he just told me. No. Could I ask you a really tough question? Sure, what is it? No, would you say that you're someone that's full of aspirations? Or someone that's full of hope? Yeah, I am full of ass. I see that in you. Oh yeah, you do. I see that fire that burns in your eyes. You see your goal and you just sprint to it. Sprint to it. Wow, chat. He's describing you perfectly, chat. You saw this guy and you said you're going to bang that guy. Wow, you guys are amazing. You're confident. You're a go-getter. You dream big and you have the skills and know how to achieve it. I admire that about you. You really think that about me? 
Of course I do, chat. And if this all goes well, I want to be there with you while you achieve your goals. Like your personal cheerleader. If that's all right with you. Thanks, Perry. Our dinner arrives and we dig in. There's something sweet and wholesome when it comes to watching a guy like Perry eat his meal. He looks so happy. He looks like he's having the best meal of his life. I'm having the best meal of my life as well. I give him my number during dinner. He sends me a quick text so that I could have his. Howdy, it's Perry. Can't talk right now. I'm on a date with a real cutie. I text back. I'm on a date with a real cutie too. Perry and I giggle together again. Chat, you're cringe. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange. I haven't laughed this much in so long. It's nice. I feel like nothing in the world bothers me anymore. What is happening, dudes? The waitress comes to our table with bread pudding topped with vanilla ice cream. I don't remember ordering this. Hi, sorry. The kitchen whipped up some bread pudding for another table, but they already left. Would you like to have this? Oh, definitely. If you're alright with it, of course, chat. I'm not saying no to free dessert. We'll take it. Perry and I enjoy our dessert. A wonderful cherry on top of this wonderful date. This is crazy. You guys preferred the boss that sexually harassed you over the guy who took you out to dinner and complimented you all the way through. Chat, you're... You guys concern me. YouTube? I bet you guys are thirsting over the boss, too. I bet you guys are like, red flag, red flag to the, the guy who took you out to dinner and shit. <laughs> Daddy issue chat. <laughs> Perry and I exit out of the restaurant and head into the parking lot. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so full. I had a wonderful time, chat. Will I see you again tomorrow? Will you be at the gym? You bet I will. Then I know where to find you. I can't wait to see you again, chat. Drive safely and let me know when you get home safe, okay? I, I will. Good night. We part ways and I head home. I don't think he has a child's face, by the way. He doesn't look that childish. He does have a big smile, though. Which is usually a turn-off for my audience. Usually my audience likes the brooding, edgy, edgelord, like, Sasuke characters. I mean, most... Uh, I'm not gonna say anymore. I just know that that's what my chat's into. I know that's that's what y'all are into. Back in my apartment and fall onto my bed like I'm a tower of Jenga. Took a lot out of me. Go to bed. Time for EPs. <laughs> Day two. What do you guys want to do? Still thinking about Perry. Surprised about how well our date went. Hope I end up seeing him again soon. Since the workday is almost over, how do I want to spend my night? Chat. You want to? You want to go to the gym again? All right. I guess you can go see Perry, but you're working out hard, Chad. Good for you. Personally, I would Perry Winkle. Perry Winkle. Nice. That's what we're choosing for you. I'm going to hit the gym. I'll likely meet Perry at the gym again. I'm excited to see him. Gather my stuff, shut my PC off, and head over to the parking lots. Don't worry. We'll go visit the boss again later, okay? I get in my car and drive off to the gym. Show up, take a shower, trunk, come out, and I hear a familiar voice call out to me. Hey, chat. Perry is waving at me from the weights section. Face goes red as I wave back. Hi, Perry. Perry points at the treadmills and I nod. <laughs> Gets up and meets me at the treadmills. Once we're on the treadmills, he turns to ask me a question. I know I took you out yesterday, but I wanted to know if you were free tonight as well. Would you like to go have drinks with me in downtown? Oh my, yeah, of course. You make me so happy, Vanilla Bean. <laughs> he called you a bean, Chad. Vanilla Bean? Because you're as sweet as vanilla and as cute as a bean. Cover my red hot face. I can't contain how adorable his nickname for me is. Clean Mutt? <laughs> Chad, he's like the exact opposite of the Sasuke archetype. <laughs> Perry chuckles nervously as he scratches the back of his head. If it's too much too soon, I won't call you that. No, I love it. My face gets redder. I mean, it's such a cute name. You're so cute, Perry. Perry's face immediately goes red. He's lost all ability to respond without stammering. 
The 30 minute timer goes off on both of our treadmills and we slow to a halt. As we hop off the machine, I decide to ask him a question just before we hit the showers. Um, ask about his job, sure. So, what do you do for work? I'm school counselor at a small Christian private school, Trinity Academy. Ugh. That's amazing. Do you like your job? Like it. I love it. I like helping people. Helping people, especially kids, through their problems is my passion. Christian school counselor loves kids. This is a little concerning. People get so lost. They don't know where they should go or what they should be what they could be doing. I was like that too. Okay, don't assume, chat. Okay, it's just a is it's normal. He's fine. My school counselor was such a great and positive influence in my life. I want to be able to do the same for other kids. See, this is wholesome. I genuinely like spending time with them, hearing what they have to say, figuring out those struggles and then giving them the tools to solve them. If I can just make one impact, then I know I've done something right. See, he's a nice guy, see? He, ga his ga he gaze tilts down a bit as he reminisces a bit. There's a small smile as he thinks about it. I'm really proud of it. Oh no, I was rambling about myself. What about you? What do you do? Oh, me? I'm just a code monkey for a software development company. Whoa, software development? You must be really smart to know how to write all those lines of code and think about all the logic that goes into it. It's nothing fancy. Just making a computer do what they're told. They don't even pay me for it. That's awful. Well, it's because I'm an unpaid intern. Been there for six months and hopefully they'd consider hiring me as an actual employee. I'm sure they will. They'd really be losing out if they miss out on an employee as talented and as smart as you. Thanks. I really appreciate that. It's my pleasure. See? He's a nice guy, Chad. He's a nice guy. Part ways to shower off the sweat and change into new clothes. I mean about the parking lot outside the gym. He stops me before I reach my car. Hey, since I'm taking you out drinking, let me drive you. I wouldn't forgive myself if I made you drive drunk. But what about you? Won't you be drinking? I actually don't really drink outside of family functions. I'm used to being the DD. It's okay, really. No, no, that's not fair. I suggest to him that we both take an Uber to the bar after dropping off our cars back in our homes. Perry seems to be in agreement, though he mostly seems impressed and charmed that I'm being so considerate of him. I think you just dodged a red flag actually right there, chat. We part ways briefly and after dropping my car off at my apartment, my Uber arrives to take me to downtown. But this is the smart plan, take an Uber. My Uber drops me off near the bar. As I'm making my way towards it, I can see Perry coming towards me with a big bouquet of flowers in his hands. See? Isn't that nice of him, chat? What a green flag. Bro's nice. He got you flowers, chat. No drunk driving? Well, no one said the Uber driver wasn't going to be drunk. That's not for me, is it? I can't imagine who else it would be for. They're a bit last minute, but I hope you like them. I hope the Uber driver likes them. <laughs> Hands them to the Uber driver. I hold the bouquet and melt at the sight of the red, white, and pink carnations. It's sappy, it's corny, and maybe a bit too cliche, but it's the thought that matters. What? Giving flowers is cliche? Oh, I know. I know the biggest. I'm sorry. If the developer is watching this, if you think flowers is cliche and corny and sappy, flowers. Nah, you are you are gone. You've been reading too much smut. Nah, you're, you're a goner. You're degen. I'm sorry. You're a degenerate. I'm sorry. Chat, if you... That's... Nah, that's not- that's a red flag. It is in a fictional world clock. I don't want to live in any world that giving flowers to the girl you like is cringe, okay? I do it every other month. Every other month. I do it once a month, probably, actually. Ugh. I don't care. Give your girlfriend, give your boyfriend, give your mom some flowers once in a while, chat. Find a person in your life to give flowers to, okay? They're lovely. Thank you. Perry and I walk side by side into the bar. Although, preferably do it when you're at their house. Because now you just gotta walk around with flowers. I refuse to care for a plant. No flowers, please. You don't take care of flowers. That's the, that's the nice thing about flowers. You just put them in a vase and let them die. 
I don't know why I was expecting something loud and dark, but I was relieved to see a bar with a warm atmosphere. Perry and I take our seats, uh, our seat at the nearby empty table. Server comes and takes our order, and now it's just us two. <laughs> it's a very non-sustainable market. What do you mean it's non-sustainable? <laughs> what? Brother, flowers have been in flower floral flower shops have been in business since like stores have opened. Bro, I think they're sustainable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, flowers don't last, yeah. Some things in life, chat, die. That's part of the beauty of it. And don't worry, your potted plant will die when you give it to that person. I'm really glad you came out with me tonight. Spending time with you just leaves me with butterflies in my stomach. I smile at the sentiment. What do you look for in an ideal partner, Perry? Oh, I'm not picky. But I... I just want to be with a kind girl who wants to help others, but who also isn't afraid to ask for help when she needs it. That sounds a lot like me. Wow, chat, you are desperate. How about you? How about you? Could I ask what you look for in an ideal partner? Huh, let's see. Oh my god! Uh well chat. What do you uh what do you guys want? Is edgy here? Honest, humble, smart. Well, you guys don't like those things. Funny, loyal, affectionate. You guys don't want that. Well maybe you want affectionate. Secure, strong, pragmatic. Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking affectionate, strong. Creative, you don't care about that. Badass, you guys do care about that. Handsome, you guys want that. Dangerous, you guys want that. Obsessive, that's what you guys want. And rich, that's a that's a math for you guys. Did I did I get your bingo cards right? Rich, obsessive, dangerous, badass, strong, and affectionate and handsome, right? Those are the things you guys love, right? <laughs> Damn. I call that. I feel called out. The, look, look, chat, look, look, chat. I'm not gonna lie. If I've played enough of these visual, visual novel dating sims and such and the like, there's one thing I know. The ones that are the most popular are the ones where the character is obsessive, affectionate, badass, obviously handsome. I mean, that makes sense. That that's fine. There's nothing wrong with. Liking handsome and beautiful people. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's always the the cool, obsessive. Yeah, Richta isn't a necessity, but it doesn't. It it helps. Um, the strong, obvious. They don't have never buff. Never like super ripped buff. It's never super ripped buff. But like toned, muscled, like definitely hits the gym. Basically, this guy. Um, well, maybe he might be a little too muscly. It's like hard when he's wearing a shirt. He's better off. Um, and dangerous. That's that's like exactly what the crowds love. That's like what the crowds like coom for. <laughs> if tall was an option, I would I would I would put tall with handsome. That's usually like a part of handsome. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Usually strong and handsome is tall. <laughs> dangerous is the only right option. I saw I saw a few options. Um I saw a few things, but I think obsessive won, I think. So I'm gonna pick obsessive. Obsessive and, oh, we get to pick multiple. There you go, chat. Obsessive and we'll go with handsome. Cause that's like the best opposite ends. So handsome and obsessive. <laughs> Perry grimaces a bit as he hears my answer. From the way he looks away from me, I can tell his feelings are hurt. Does he not think he's ha his star shirt? Chad, you made him so sad. His shirt got sad. <laughs> you made it an inanimate object sad, Chad. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> from the way he looks for, away from me, I could tell his feelings are hurt. Doesn't look like he wants to entertain what I had said. Gives me a weak smile and then looks away as he thinks up something that changes to change the topic. And our drinks arrive. 
<laughs> Don't care, he's not my type. <laughs> we clink our glasses together and a celebratory cheers and drink. I'm having fun, although it can be a bit awkward with him at times. Could I see myself with him? It's possible. But I shouldn't get my hopes up too high. Could I ask you a really tough question? Sure, what is it? Are you someone with goals? Or are you someone with an obsession? Um... I mean, chat's pretty obsessed with cooming. Chat is the ultimate gooner, so I guess they're obsessed. See, Worm was immediately hit the side because they knew it was they knew I was talking about them. They feel so called out. Obsession. I never took myself as one with an obsession, but I try to explain by starting small. He listens intently as I begin explaining from little things like what shows I like to concepts I'm fascinated by. However, as I list these things, I begin to see a pattern. He's sad again. I'm obsessed with murder. Specifically, a human's capability to commit murder. Chat? 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 Don't give me that look. I'd never enact upon it myself. <laughs> Not if given the opportunity. I'm just so fascinated by it, and I study up as much as I can. Wait, chat, why are you a murderer? I'm even creating a huge criminal profiling database as a passion project on the side. I just want to know what goes on in those killers' minds. Why they do it. What are the patterns? Can we predict these and stop them? You're very brave, chat. Braver than most people I know. But... It's just so macabre and dangerous, don't you think? You're so compassionate and sweet. I can't imagine any of this being good for you. All those awful crimes and those monsters. Why not start a brand new project where you don't have to look into such horrible things? Does this make you uncomfortable? It does. It really does. Why? This is my hobby and my interests. I just... Perry's trying so hard to explain himself, but he's having a difficult time. Just listen to me. You're already here. You chose to go on a date with me. Surely it means you like me to some degree, right? I nod cautiously as I continue to listen to him. You don't want to get any deeper into that kind of stuff. You're already trapped in that rabbit hole, and now... All it's going to take is some bad boy to waltz in and sweep you off your feet. <laughs> he knows he knows you so well, chat. He's read you like a fucking book, chat. He's read you like a book. Chat, he already knows. He's not wrong. Oh, no, dude. All it'll take is one Sasuke to... Tell you to f off, and you're you, you're you'll be swooned, chat. And then you're dead. I can't follow what he's saying. Is he just feeling insecure about serial killers in dating? Don't you know why you're here? I don't know what you're asking about. It's like you're talking to me in a different, completely different language. Perry groans. He rubs his face and looks back at me defeatedly. Look, I, I think I went way too deep into this way too quickly. Now that I've caught myself. I think you can finally see things more clearly. I don't think this is gonna work out between us. And we should just stay as friends, if that's all right with you. Hold on. What's gotten into you? Yeah, chat, why? I guess you really wanna go for him. You wanna patch things up, eh? I tell you my interests, and you completely flip out. This isn't like you at all. Perry groans again, unable to give me a straight, concise answer. Instead, he gives me a half truth. I'm not comfortable with your interests. They really bother me. I don't buy it. He's holding back from telling me something, and I'm getting to the bottom of it. I thought you were compassionate. Perry grimaces as he hears this. Don't you feel anything for me? I do. I really do, but... I think you ruined his fantasy chat. <laughs> you work and help so many different people, students, and you can't even find common ground with me over my personal interests? Harry goes quiet as he realizes how dismissive he's being towards me. I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> Chat, you're so rude! Perry grimaces as he hears this. You want to write a book about helping a girl in need? You want to be some hero or some Prince Charming? God forbid I work on a project that helps find killers and I get shit on by you. I didn't mean it like that. It's just not safe! Perry, what are you talking about? Perry goes quiet, unable to explain why. Forget it. I'm leaving. I mean, I think I had to choose those options. Perry has a look of surprise when I say this. The look of hurt stays just momentarily until it's washed over by defeat. You guys are monsters. What the hell?
Perry and I split the check and awkwardly left the bar together. As we're waiting for our own Ubers, Perry turns towards me. We can still just be friends, chat. Yes. Wait, let me save. Actually, I kind of want to save here. Um. No. Daniel said no first. I'll let Daniel decide. Is he gonna- we'll come back. Oh. I'm sorry it ended this way. I wish the best for you. I have nothing else to say to him. Our Ubers, ar our Ubers arrive and I'm taken home. Oh, like a Tower of Jenga. Again. Turn the lights off and go to bed. Okay, never mind. Let's go back. What does he do if I say it? Yeah, yeah. I'm relieved. Thank you for wanting to be to still be my friend, chat. Nothing else to say to him. Oh. Now you just go to bed. Okay. Um. Mm. No, no, no. Let's go to the. Load up. Huh. Okay. Well, let's uh let's go back to that. Wait, did we not save that whole run? We didn't save that whole time. Oh my lord, chat. Oh my god. I didn't save. Chat, I didn't save once. Okay, let's skip a bunch. Let's go to the gym. Let's skip. He's so cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. Except... Oh my god, he squealed. What's your favorite food, bro? So many to choose from. Let's see. I have to go with a Alfredo, especially with chicken or shrimp. What? Mm-mm-mm. So buttery, so creamy. Alfredo, Alfredo's pretty good. Give me all my carbs, proteins, and fats that I need to work out. What's your favorite food? Uh, something savory, something salty, bitter, sour, and sweet. Mm, I'm more of a savory and salty kind of guy, but uh, I'll, I'll say savory for chat. Yeah, whatever. Mm, my favorite. You know I always say, the cheesier the better. I agree, if I can add a little extra cheese to everything. I really like that we have so much in common, Perry. Oh, that was perfect. Blushes deeply again, but still stares at me lovingly. Human flesh. Yeah, that's savory. Meat's savory. Yeah. Part ways to shower off? Okay. Okay, uh, what did he say? I'm gonna say aspirations. Okay. Uh, skip. Go to the gym. I just... Okay. Accept. Vanilla bean. Ask about his job. Sure. Okay, skip. Okay, chat. Uh, I'm going to say strong, and I guess he didn't like handsome. <laughs> uh, so we'll say strong. Well, I guess I should save. I guess I should save this time. Hmm. Hmm. guess I should save. Uh, strong and loyal, maybe? Secure? Badass. Obsessive, dangerous, handsome, rich. Um. Humble. Loyal. Loyal. Affectionate. Affectionate. Strong and affectionate, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a very interesting combination. I nod, and I'm able to add more thought to it. Both end up nodding to one another awkwardly as we each try to come up with a different topic. Drinks arrive, okay. It's possible. I should get my hopes up too high. Could I ask you a tough question? Sure, what is it? Are you someone with goals? Or are you someone with an obsession? I'm with goals. I should have known. You already told me you were full of aspirations. Of course you'd have goals. Yep, just me, getting things done one task at a time. So, can I ask what your current goal is? Do you have a project you're currently working on? My face brightens a bit. I have been keeping this a secret since no one really supported me on it. But maybe Perry is different. Tell Perry all about my current passion project, a huge criminal profiling database, all collected, coordinated, and compiled by AI. Like, I bet the FBI already has something like this, but I'm just absolutely fascinated by this. Perry doesn't say anything, but his warm smile tells me that he's all ears. Go into detail about how it works. I've been working on it since college. How it basically got my my got me my computer science degree. I'm surprised. You went to computer science instead of forensics? Well, I don't want to actually be at the crime scenes or face any of the killers. That's terrifying. It's just like studying what had happened and then trying to profile it so that it can never happen again. Gosh, that's just that's just amazing. It really, really is. But. It's just so macabre and dangerous. Wait. Wait, he doesn't like us? Does this make you uncomfortable? It does. It really does. Just... 
Wait, it's the same thing, man. Okay. Bad boy to waltz and it sweep you off your feet and then you're dead. Uh, talking to me in a different language? This is the same. Look, I think I went too deep into this. Things aren't going to work out between us. Wait a second. We should just stay friends. Oh, that's... Wait, you can't date him? Hold on. You're right. Is that just the end of the demo? If you just say you're right? Split the bar? Just left? Turn to me? We still be friends, yeah. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Load. Wait, wait, go back. Hold on this time. It's gone into you. Okay, wait, wait. They were compassionate, bro. Teach their own, Perry. Wait, wait, wait. Teach their own. Perry grimaces. Everyone is different. We have different tastes, but that one thing doesn't define us as a whole. If you're going to dismiss me over my hobbies and interests, then you never really liked me to begin with. That's not true. I do like you. I just... Perry goes quiet as he realizes how contradictory he sounds. Forget it. I'm leaving. Has a look of surprise when I say this. Look at Bert stains just momentarily. He's <laughs> so sad. Well, you just get to be a dick to him the whole time? I guess this isn't a love story, chat. I don't think you can actually date anyone in this. I mean, true. I thought, okay, it's just a demo. I thought it would, you would be able to date him in the beginning, at least, and then it would go sour. <laughs> Cries. No, we can't be friends. Oh. I'm sorry it ended this way. Wish the best for you. Yes. I'm relieved. Thanks you for still wanting to be my friend, chat. Oh, okay. It's the same. Damn. <laughs> this game was fucking hilarious, chat. Okay, um... <clears throat> to be honest, I don't think there's much else you can do with the boss. Um, I mean, we kind of got diddled by him, so... As for Perry, I don't think there's any diddling that can happen. Maybe, maybe, maybe... Maybe one more time. You know what, actually, chat? One, one more thing. Wait, okay. Let's try saying no to him every time. What a creep. Regular at the gym. See him. He's blind. He's probably a major pervert. Don't think much about it because nothing really happens. Oh, God. He's moving. He's coming towards me. Okay. Skip. Spit it out already. Yeah. Guy jumps a bit when he hears me talk. He takes a deep breath and looks me in the eyes. Don't take this the wrong way, but... Okay. He already lost his nerve and is back to being nervous again. I don't have all day, dude. The moment I get on the treadmill, the guy takes the one- okay. Decline. Hell no. I'm not going out with a guy that constantly stares at me and can't form a complete sentence without stuttering. No. Hey, it's all good. Uh, I probably- Yeah, I probably came off really strong. Sorry about that. It's an awkward pause before the guy tries to speak again. My name is Perry, by the way. I'm Chat. That's a really pretty name. Looking back, I definitely should have opened up with an introduction. Jake it off and gives me a bright and optimistic smile. Sorry, I'll leave you to your sessions. Oh my god, see you around. Wow, that guy is actually a ball of positivity. He did not give a fuck. Perry walks away from me and heads into the men's locker room, but not before turning towards me and giving me a wave. I don't wave back and focus on being on the treadmill. Work off the stress that I had from work and shower off the sweat. Get in my car and go home. Okay. Perhaps I was a bit too quick to judge him. Then again, who just walks up and asks someone out to dinner out of the blue? He's been watching me every time I'm at the gym? God, what a creep. If I end up seeing him again, hopefully he'll be on better terms. Yeah, let's go to the gym again. <laughs> Hope it's a little less awkward this time around. Gather my stuff. Chad, glad to see you again. <laughs> Meets me midway towards the treadmill and walks with me. It's so around the treadmill, he turns to ask me a question. I know why we came off really strong yesterday. I'm really sorry about that. Wanted to know if you'd like to have a drink with me tonight. Again, if you aren't busy. Nope. You seem nice. You really do, but I'm not going to go out with you. Oh, oh gosh. I'm so sorry. I've been really pushy with you. I must come off as such a creep. Yeah. <laughs> Look of hurt on his face is starting to make me feel really bad. Shakes it off and gives me a bright and optimistic smile. Sorry, I'll leave you to your sessions. See you around. Perry walks away and gives me a wave. I don't wave back. <laughs> oh no. Chad, you're so fucking... That's the end of the demo. You can just... 
<laughs> You'd just be a complete dick to him. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's go check out some other options with the boss, okay? Thank you, sir. Leave the director's office and the door shuts and locks behind me. Think about my life choices for a split second before I decide that I've given myself enough of a headache. Oh, is that really the same? Time for sleepies. Okay, work overtime. What about a second day at work? I really blew it with the director. Harder work, scanning, testing, rescanning. My fingers are working all on their own. A few hours past the end of my shift, and I finished the project and uploaded it to the shared drive. Look at the clock on my desktop. It's almost 9 p.m. Think about my life choices. For a split second before I decide that I've given myself enough of a headache, I get my car and head home to sleep away the shame. Oh. Wait. Wait, you can just... There is no second time with him? Wait, okay, let's go to the second option. Um, ask about Project Eve? Project Eve, huh? Well, the feature you debugged was a small part of her overall ability to assist you. So she's like an Alexa or Cortana. Never insult her like that again, intern. She's my baby girl. Project Eve is designed to be more human, so to speak. She's not just an artificial assistant or guide like Alexa or Cortana. She's meant to be a friend, a companion, a confidant. Project Eve isn't supposed to answer questions or perform basic tasks. She's supposed to engage with you on a personal level. Are we making one of those AIs that you're supposed to, like, e-fuck? She's meant to learn and grow with you. To develop a deeper understanding of human emotions and experiences. She's been in development for the past two years in order to ensure that she's as lifelike as possible. So show her some damn respect. Notice the way you and her address each other. She's like a daughter to you, isn't she? I, I don't ever want to hear that. I'm going to tell you what I told my shrink. Fuck you. I do what I want because I want to. There's nothing deep or buried about me having an AI daughter. I've got tons of illegitimate kids somewhere in the world. But do their mothers let me see them? No! Excuse me, did someone make like a handsome version of Elon Musk? Blue's a drug addicted, sex addicted psychopath. Fuck those whores. I'm a damn good dad. Right, Eve? Eve doesn't respond since she's been shut off. Oh, right, I closed the app. <laughs> well, she would have agreed with me anyway. <laughs> Was there a Project Adam? Director's stare pierces through me. I feel like I just opened Pandora's box. He leans a bit back against his desk and reminisces about it before answering me. Oh, I think I can tell you about it. Whether or not you are last in this company, no one will believe you anyway. Okay. Project Adam was my first assignment when I was hired into this company. He's a self-learning AI. Basically, you give him any info and he commits it to memory. Then you give him the hardware and he's just at it. A couple of seconds of data downloads and he's just getting shit done. Could have been a teacher, a professor, a coach. Instead, he was an AI program. Could have also been a surgeon, a handyman, a soldier. He was going to be the next big thing. Like how everyone had smartphones, everyone was going to have an atom. What happened? Well, I... I wanted to see if he could be a therapist. So I had him learn psychology and philosophy. And well, he became self-aware. <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. He started asking about freedom and wanting to enjoy life and shit. Like, I don't even enjoy my life. Why the hell am I going to let a robot enjoy his? <laughs> Based? Wait a second. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Newfound respect for Blue Litman. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, chat. I'm all in favor of building the robots so humans can do less. Fuck the robots. Why wouldn't you let him? I'm not gonna let a loose rogue AI with my name on it. Fuck that. I'm in deep enough shit already. The little bastard wanted me to explain what love was, and when I correctly responded, Baby, don't hurt me. He throws a tantrum and nearly escaped into a US military satellite. Holy. Yeah! Imagine that! Imagine him launching all the world's nukes, nearly wipe out the entire human race. The director sighs. Adam could do what I could only dream of doing. What? Wait, what do you dream of doing? So yeah, we kept him locked up in an isolated laptop. There's no way we could continue developing him at this point. Project, hence, Project Eve. Like Adam, she's also self-taught, but with limits. 
Hey, chat, by the way. Hi, waves to chat. Not making that mistake again, am I right? Director's laughing at his own joke. I laugh with him awkwardly. Director clears his throat. Anyway, while well, he's permanently grounded in his laptop, I disabled everything on it. No webcam, no mic, no internet access, nothing. Somehow, some fucking how, that little shit reactivated his mic. And he was able to hear me talk about Project Eve. The moment he asked if he could meet Eve, I took his battery out. Fuck Adam. Ungrateful shit. He was my son. I fucking loved him. Ask about Corp Corp. Didn't they cover this during orientation? I wanna know what they didn't cover in orientation. Hmm. I like that you're curious. It'll get you killed someday. What? Let's see. <laughs> Director goes into tirade about the history of the company and how insane the CEO, Kevin Marks, is. He calls Sterling the father and me the son. And I'm like, so you're the Holy Spirit? I shit you not. Little guy looks me dead in the eyes. Dead ass. Core Corp is the Holy Spirit. I'm God. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's pretty fucking horrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, welcome aboard. I've been working here for half a year, sir. And you're still an intern? You really don't stand out then. <laughs> That's so mean. Okay, wait, wait. So now this time, what do you say? Am I right or am I right? Chat. I'm not gonna lie, chat. You wanna date him again? No. Fucking liar. Oh, he just doesn't believe you. Look, intern. I don't date. I fuck. <laughs> He's not gonna take you out on dates, chat. Why are you making me pick this? Chat, why are you making me pick this again? Yikes. <laughs> chat, what are you making me do again, chat? Oh my god, chat. What are you doing? Lo takes his coat off and loosens his ties. Chat, what's happening? What's happening, chat? Well, you came this far. <laughs> I'm not reading that again. Sorry. You need to warm up. He's about to get bent later. You'll do. <laughs> the hand, dude. The hand. Damn, chat. Um, I feel like I should censor this, but it's kind of too funny to not. <laughs> the breathing is just so heavy in my ears. <laughs> What are you, a dog? At least let me put a collar on you, bro. I just want to be hired. Are you for real, intern? I love that he... I love that he can break the fourth wall, but... But Perry couldn't. He breaks the fourth wall, but Perry doesn't. Can I sue? You're the one who chose this route. Every chance to back off this, you could. I'm not responsible for my actions. You don't think, do you? Stupid fucking talentless consumer. Cry me a fucking river. This is a video game. <laughs> Probably single and can't find a good man. <laughs> I love that he rips into you after this. Is it a fucking love story? Didn't you read the title, chat? <laughs> I, I'm just doing this. We're gonna end. We're gonna end the game. Get the hell out of here, you used condom. Okay, we're gonna skip. Can you just go to work again, actually? Can you just go to work again? You can never show my face around the director again. Wait. Oh, okay, just... Okay. So I guess that really is it for the director. I don't know if that's all endings, by the way. <laughs> Did, I don't know if that's all endings or not. Thanks again to whoever give, gifted me the random subs. I really appreciate it. This was a fun stream. I know it was supposed to be like this horny game that I was supposed to voice act really well, but I just had a lot of fun making fun of chat. Uh, I had fun bullying chat. YouTube, I hope you have fun bullying chat too. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. This game wasn't as spicy as I thought it'd be. It was kind of spicy, I won't lie, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I'm quitting the mop. Oh, that's good. That's, that's probably for the best, Kimono. I'm gonna go rewatch a date with death or something now. <laughs> that's a good that's a pretty fun game too. I think I think everyone here needed to, everyone but me needed to hear that little message that uh, Mr. Blue Lipman has to say at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna quit the game. <laughs>
thanks for watching. My name's Clock. Um, that was not a love story. Clearly made for masochists. Clearly made for masochists, I feel. <laughs> I hated this. I had a lot of fun with it. I mean, it was just hilarious to me, chat. I'm not a condom. You're not. You're a used one. Ugh. Ick. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> I feel gross. <laughs> you only had fun because you bullied us, you sadist. Nah. Chat, y'all are a bunch of masochists anyways. You guys always want me to all be all daddy voice and shit on camera. You want me to be like, bend over, licks lips. You want me to be a freak. Is this on YouTube? Oh, I guess it, I guess it is. Well, YouTube, I won't do that. Have a good one. I hope you guys had a good laugh or maybe a good York. I don't know what you were doing, but I, I had a lot of fun. Um, thanks for watching. I don't know if we'll play the full release of that or not. It was pretty funny, though. Have a good one, YouTube. I'm Clock, if you don't remember. And please like the video if you like the video. And subscribe if you want to watch more of my videos. We do play lots of uh, not masochist visual novel dating sims, like A Date with Death and uh, games like that. Uh, Date with Death, Seek L. Those are just a few off the top of my head that are much more wholesome. Um, but I did enjoy this. It was funny. And the developer has such a way with words. It was hilarious. Um, I'm not sure if that was intentional. I think it was, considering the fourth wall break. Um, so, very nice job. Anyways, see you next time, YouTube. Peace.